The Marine Corps has always been a boys' club, and it's still the branch of the military with the lowest percentage of women serving today, by far. The Secretary of Defense made the Marines open combat and infantry roles to females a year ago, but recruiting women into the force has still proven to be a challenge. Caroline Madaresi Tehrani went to Tennessee to find out what the Marines are doing to bring more women into their ranks. Women have served as Marines since 1918, but the Corps, famous for its grueling physical regimen and tough guy image, has never really made a priority of appealing to women. Only around 15,000 women serve as Marines today. The task of boosting the number of female Marines from 8 to 10 percent falls to this man, Major General Paul Kennedy. We want somebody that is tough, that is disciplined, uh, that is self-motivated. Major General Kennedy wants recruiters to search for female candidates the same ways they've been going after men for years, by changing commercials to show more women in action and by scouting high school sports teams. I feel like the Marine Corps provided me more than I ever gave to it, even though I tried every day to give 100%. Lieutenant Colonel Kate Germano was a Marine recruiter and training camp instructor. She thinks the Marines are failing women. I'm not asking for people to accommodate us. I'm asking for people to hold us accountable to high standards, just like we do men. Germano was controversially fired last year after a Marine investigation found her leadership style abusive. Germano denies this and says she was forced out for publicly blowing the whistle on bad recruiting practices. Automatically, right off the bat, at recruit training, which is the foundational level of training, we tell women that they can't compete with the men. It sets you up to fail in many, many ways, and it can be a blow to your confidence. For Marines, basic training is gender segregated, and women haven't had to do everything that men do, like pull-ups. Women are given more time than men to complete the same activities on some training drills. Ready, go! Bree Jackson has wanted to be a Marine since she was five years old. In January, she'll ship out for six months of basic training. My parents were like, oh, let's, you know, that's cute. As I got older, my mom's like, all right, this isn't cute anymore. It's not funny. You can't join. When I became 17, it was a little bit of a fight in order to reassure that I'm going to be okay and that this is what I want to do. The delayed entry program is what every individual, male or female, enlists into. And it's designed to be a year long to give them enough time to mentally and physically prepare to go to training. So if you have an applicant who maybe isn't running as fast as they should be, they're going to put them on the calendar to ship further out on the calendar. So the problem that we have with women is because we're not putting enough women into the pipeline, we're not prospecting enough women, we're left shipping people who are not really given enough time to adequately prepare. It also puts women on the wrong track if they want to pivot later down the line and serve in combat. Because that's when, unlike in basic training, men and women have the exact same benchmarks. Former Lieutenant Kate Germano wrote, you weren't going to be getting the best women through given the current standards. What do you think of that? There's some merit to some of her arguments. I think that she ought to give us a chance. We really have only, since March 1st, have opened up jobs to all women. And so let's see who volunteers and step forward. Uh, she may be pleasantly surprised that uh, the right quality candidates are looking to join our ranks. But there's one major roadblock to getting more women in the Marines that goes beyond standards and quotas. The Corps has to tackle sexual assault. Female Marines report being sexually assaulted at higher rates than in any other branch of the military. How has that impacted recruitment? Have people asked about that? We, we do get asked about that um, from the applicants, their parents, um, their key influencers, coaches, high school administrators. Uh, we have taken incredible measures to safeguard all of our Marines, but in particular to tackle this problem. The Marines say they're continuing to add services and training through their Sexual Assault Prevention Unit. And the Pentagon this year announced a plan to help protect service members from retaliation if they report sexual assault. But it remains to be seen how the Trump administration will approach this problem. And Trump this fall doubled down on comments he previously tweeted about sexual assault in the military. What do you expect uh, if you put men and women together? Of course, there is going to be sexual assault that takes place. What do you think of that? Do you agree? That sexual assault is a natural result of men and women being together? I, I disagree with that, I re and I reject that. 
And if you and if you build organizations that are that the basis is trust and respect, that you won't have that. There is a little bit of a stereotype about the Marines. Like the idea is that it's like a man's world or a boys' club. I think there's always going to be that, and I think eventually maybe it will kind of simmer down if there's more females into each roles. I want to be that person to open doors for females and be like, hey, if you have the right mindset and mentality, you can make it.